All right, back in Luke 11:27, it said, um, "What is it? 11:27? It says, and it came to pass as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee and the paps that thou hast sucked." First thing I'm thinking is, is she even supposed to be speaking in the congregation? Pursuing the First uh, Corinthians, the 14th chapter, the 30. Third through thirty fifth verse, she ain't even supposed to be speaking. So when he what he said to him was a cut. He said, um, but but he said, Yea, brother, blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it. You know, blessed more are the person that hears the word of the Most High and keeps it. Right now, I'm gonna go over to um to Matthew chapter twelve and uh and forty six. And it says, uh, while he yet talked to his people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. When one said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto them, to him that told him, who is my mother and who are my brethren? So he didn't give, he said, he asked the question. He knew that Mary was his mother and he knew his brothers were. But he's asking, like, who are my, my mother and my brethren? It says, and he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Those are the ones that do the, the will of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, that do the will of Yahweh, are his mother and brethren. So that's the respect he had for Mary. And that's Mary that that used Latinos and natives and, and, and Negroes in the Catholic Church always want to uplo- uplift and uphold. You want to treat your mother like she did something special besides laying down and getting rod put in her and seed planted in her. You know? When she don't know nothing. Let alone how to how to guide you into a, a, a better lifestyle with, with, with the, the Spirit of the Heavenly Father. So that's how he cut that. And now I'm going to run over real quick. Because that woman shouldn't even been speaking. That's why I say, you, blessed are you that hear the word of the Most High and keep it. She should have kept her damn mouth quiet. She shouldn't have even been speaking out in that day. You know, in the, in the middle of the congregation. It's a shame for a woman to speak in the congregation. I'm going to get it real quick. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, uh, verse 33. For the Most High is not the author of confusion but of peace as in all churches of the saints. Instead of making a big scene and calling her out, he threw a, a, a swift cut at her. Right? And said, let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the churches. So what she should have did was just held her peace, remembered her questions, and asked, you know, made that foolish ass statement uh, to her husband at the house, or you know, or pull if she wasn't married to pull a man over to the side later and spoke to him then. But we know, as we teach on the streets, you women aren't really out here to to really learn. Y'all really out here trying to find out what's going on. It's rare when you find a woman that's really out here trying to sincerely uh, find out the, the word of the heavenly Father. And sincerity and in truth, and not and not trying to um to shoot at a brother, get a brother to uh, you know to to, to 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 spit at him or to get at him, get their phone number or whatever, you know, being one time whether you got a man or not. And so that was just a quickie, you know. So that that dispelled 